Thank you for joining us today. Won't you join us by liking our Facebook page and subscribing to our YouTube channel. We'd appreciate it. Good morning and welcome to our Sunday School lesson. My name is Reverend Theron L. Jones I and I'm an Associate Minister at the Greater Queens Missionary Baptist Church located in Chicago, Illinois, where our pastor is the Reverend Kevin Wilkes. Let us open with a word of prayer. Father God, teach me your ways that I may be more like you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen, and thank God. Again, we welcome you and thank you for being a part of our Sunday School lesson. Our lesson for the day is entitled, Injustice and Hope. And our background scripture is Genesis, the 21st chapter, verses 8 through 21. And the main thought of the memory verse is verses 17 and 18 of the 21st chapter, which reads thusly. And God heard the voice of the lad, and the angel of God came to Hagar out of heaven and said unto her, What ail of thee, Hagar? Fear not, for God has heard the voice of the lad where he is. 18. Arise, lift up the lad, and hold him in thy hands, for I will make him a great nation. Again, our lesson for the day is entitled Injustice and Hope, our quarterly theme. For this first quarter of the year is Justice, Law, and History. And Unit 2 for the month of January theme is God, the source of justice. We all have been, we all have experienced injustice in some way, shape, or form in our lives. As believers, we have the faith and the hope that regardless of the situation, that God will bring us through whatever it is and bring us out of it victoriously. Let's read the first two verses of this lesson, eight and nine. And the, and the child grew and was weaned, and Abraham made a great feast the same day that Isaac was weaned, and Sarah saw the son of Hagar, the Egyptians, which she had born unto Abraham, mocking and being weaned was the first step of growing from being an infant to boyhood when you was weaned the boys now they could hang out and spend time with the men and learn how to do the things that men needed to learn how to do and not be dependent on having to be close to their mother for her breast milk now, Sarah sees Hagar, the son of, he sees, she sees Hagar's son, which is Ishmael, making fun or mocking Isaac. Ishmael was about 17 at this time, and Isaac was about three. There's 14 years difference between Ishmael and Isaac. Genesis 16 and 16, 17 and 25, 21 and 15. Let's read verse, we read verse 9. When she, he mocked, he was mocking them. He was making fun of them. We don't know what. But remember, Sarah originally came up with the idea for Hagar to have a child for Abraham. Because she thought she was barren and couldn't bear a child, even though God had told her that she would have one in his time. Now, Ishmael, from Sarah's point of view, Ishmael is looked at by her as a threat to Isaac's inheritance. Verse 10, let's read verse 10. Wherefore she said unto Abraham, Cast out this bondwoman, her son, for the son of this bondwoman shall not be an heir with my son, even with Isaac. Because according to Jewish law, Ishmael as the firstborn of Abraham would get a double, two-time portion 
of the inheritance and Sarah wasn't having it. Abraham loved Ishmael. That's his son. And he loved him no more, no less than Isaac. So to send him and his mother away was heavy on Abraham's heart. And First, he didn't want to send Ishmael away with his mother because he loved him. And secondly, it would be dangerous for a woman and a child traveling alone. Verse 10 and 11. Verse 11. And the thing was very grievous in Abraham's sight because of his son. And, and God, in verse 12, tells Abraham, And God said unto Abraham, Let it not be grievous in thy sight, because of the lad and because of thy bond woman and all that Sarah has said unto thee, hearken unto her voice for in Isaac shall thy seed be called. God allows his permissive will to be done because Ishmael was the son promised. Isaac was the son promised of God, but he allowed Ishmael to be born anyway to Abraham and Hagar, Hagar, God told Abraham to do as his wife, Sarah, had requested. Now, God now promises to Abraham that because Ishmael is his seed and that he will and that he will make a nation for Ishmael also. Verse 13. And also of the son of the bond woman will I make a nation because he is thy seed. Because remember the covenant God made with Abraham is that your seed, your seed will multiply the world. They will be everywhere. They will be the seeds that populate the world. And Abraham rose up, verse 14, rose up early in the morning. And made, took bread, a bottle of water, and gave it unto Hagar, putting it on his shoulder, and the child, and sent her away. And she departed and wandered in the wilderness of Beersheba. Abraham providing what Hagar and Ishmael are going to need for their traveling. And he sends them away according to Sarah's wishes. Hagar wanders in the wilderness is a foreshadowing of Israel wandering in the wilderness in the exodus out of Egypt. Verse 15, And the water was spent in the bottle, and she caused the child under one of the shrubs. Hagar and Ishmael have used all the water and food that Abraham had given them, and Ishmael was now so weak he couldn't go on. So she hid him under a shrub. And some way she continued from where she had left Ishmael and 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 away God, a way for God to save Ishmael's life. Not her. She didn't ask. She said verse 16. And she went and sat her way down against him a good ways off as if it were a bow shot that's a bow and arrow remember uh he was an archer and let me see the death of the child let me not see the death of the child and she sat over against him and lift up her voice and wept she continued somehow to carry on in spite of being out of supplies. And God, he not only heard her prayers, but the prayers of Ishmael also. And, and answered her, fear not, to ensure her that he was him, he was with her, and to just trust in him. For God has heard her and will deliver her. Verse 17, the memory verse, one of them. And God heard the voice of the lad, and the angel of God called to Hagar out of heaven and said unto her, What ail of thee, Hagar, fear not, for God hath heard the voice of the lad where he is. 
God now hears Ishmael also, which means his name means God here. Voices further relaying to Hagar that God is looking after her son personally. Verse 18, arise, lift up the lad and hold him in thy hand for I will make him a great nation. God again reassures Hagar that Ishmael and his descendants shall be a great nation. God knows now gives her what she needs for her son right now. Water. Verse 19. And God opened her eyes and she saw a well of water and she went and filled the bottle with water and gave the lad drink. God keeps his promises. He kept his promise to Hagar and watched over Ishmael. And as he grew, he became an archer. Bows were used for hunting and fighting. Verse 20, and the lad was with the and the God was with the lad, and he grew up and dwelt in the wilderness and became an archer. And God always gives us what we need. We just have to wait on him. And this lesson again, as we close it out. Injustice and hope. God speaks to us personally, where it's audible to us, or through his word, but do we really hear him? And are we truly listening to God, or we just hear him and put our own spin on it? When we call out to God, we must have the hope that God not only hears us, but will answer us according to his time and according to his will. And that everything he has promised us will come to pass again in his time. Our hope is the witness to the world that God is faithful to those who know and love him. That someone that's lost might come in out of the darkness into God's marvelous light and receive salvation. Again, we thank you for being a part of our Sunday school lesson. And as we pray, God bless and God keep us all. Amen. And thank God. Thank you for joining us today. We hope and pray that this Sunday school lesson has made you want to learn just a little bit more about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Why don't you join us for our Sunday school at 10 o'clock, morning worship at 1130. We look forward to seeing you there. Until then, tell somebody you love.